the Mercedes AMG one. I've already seen a black one, but I'm here at VIP Motors and their AMG one is also very special. It's, it's, it's also in the same color that I've seen before, but they have something extra. They have another AMG one. So this one is in silver and you can see the, the first prototype that we ever got a chance to see uh, was also in the same color. Uh, I saw it back in 2017 and uh, over time, I was expecting it to be a little different, but it still looks exactly the same. So let's have a closer look at it. And this is the interior. So you get a very crazy steering wheel. You get an instrument panel here, uh, onboard computer system. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you have engine start button, storage space, no armrest, very flat seats, which are just okay. And that's pretty much it for the interior. Now let's have a look at the rest of the car. For the headlights, you can see, I believe it has daytime running lights on the top, but you can see some carbon fiber details on the bottom. And uh, you have vents here. Of course, I'll show you where the, uh, what these are connected to. Uh, it's all carbon fiber. Then you have the hand painted Mercedes logo to save weight. So the car has a lot of air intakes in the front end. So of course, all the air goes in through there and it comes out through those vents uh, just behind the, uh, the, the bonnet. So now you can see there's a lot of carbon fiber details uh, around the air intakes. I've not seen that much carbon fiber details on any of the car. Of course, there's a little bit of dust on this car, but still it looks incredible. Now coming to the side, you can see the carbon fiber wheel and it's designed like a turbine fan. And it's of course designed to channel air into the brake and keep it as cool as possible. Now moving on to the fender, you can see these flaps that open up and you can see on the inside, on the interior, you can see the tire. And you can also see a lot of carbon fiber for the mechanism for these flaps as well and around the frame where the flaps you know can retract and disappear the pillar of the uh, uh, the side mirror is also carbon fiber you get to the rear fender you get the three star paint on it it looks beautiful then i love this uh, little uh, bluish line and here you have the open fender here of course to let the air out of when the front wheels are spinning you can see so much of carbon fiber and so many blades there to help channel air away from the fenders so that you know there's no uh, you know no what would call it pressure and that of course cre would create drag but that's not all there's a vertical wing just behind the rear wheel that is of course connected directly to the uh, the whole uh, diffuser and you can see the massive grill and you can see the weave of the carbon fiber now what i love about this car is this uh, retractable wing so it's its wing has its own wing for added downforce and uh, the engine bay is pretty much an, a carbon fiber uh, cover i'm sure it's removable just to save weight and you have a hood scoop on the roof as well that of course channels air directly into the engine bay so the engine bay has two types of uh, holes in it one to let the air in to let it cool and the other to let the hot air out so this is the amg1 now what's so special about it is it is it just another hypercar there's a very unique uh, thing about this car is that it has a formula one racing engine in it and what that engine is, uh, of course, is a 1.6 liter V6 it's turbocharged. And this car has four electric motors. One is directly connected uh, in to the turbocharger itself to reduce uh, drag as much as possible. Now here you can see the de details of the rear lights. Then of course, below that you have the grill. Now you can see the diffuser. It is so hollow and so deep. I mean, look at that. It's incredible. I could actually reach my whole arm inside. Now for the exhaust, you have three exhaust pipes with the main one and then two smaller ones. Again, they're surrounded by carbon fiber. I'm not sure why they're surrounded by carbon fiber. Anyway, look at the details and the mechanisms of the rear wing and the extra wing that uh, is also uh, retracts for added downforce. So both the wings basically can retract and disappear into the car if you need to go at very high speeds and they can of course come out when you if you choose the sport mode so they are different modes and different heights for the car now look at that engine bay look at it how big it is so you have this delta duct here i forgot the name of it but uh, that is of course uh, you know helps keep the engine cool so this uh, engine hybrid setup makes 1063 horsepower top speed is around 219 miles per hour or 350 kilometers per hour which is perfect zero to six time is 2.9 seconds so uh, this showroom also has some very interesting hypercars like the bugatti devo pagani huara bc look at that and 
well a lamborghini urus and of course some ferraris here you can see an 812 uh competition in fact two of them and just look at it let me uh know in the comments what do you think about this car now just a quick look at other cars that are also here you have a pagani huayra you have a bugatti uh chiron there and uh some other too many cars to list honestly so i came here to see the amg1 and i saw it and it looks incredible both of them together they look absolutely insane so if you wanted to check out more videos of mercedes and their uh, supercars like this slr or their luxury cars you know like the maybach and all the models just head down down to the video description for names and links and if you want to check out videos of any of these other cars here you can find them all on my channel uh, read the title to know which videos are in english so yeah the silver one costs around 90 million dirhams and the black one costs a little more than that